Hey ladies, so sorry my schedule's been a little funky today. I actually had a, um, he was a laugh, but I had a lunch scheduled with my mom, who I call Big Mama, uh, because she works out at Curves, you know the gym for like old ladies, I'll loosely say. So she had a, a lunch scheduled with like 13 of these older women and like I try to go with her every year um, when they do it. So that's what I was out doing, which is why my schedule is a little different today. Um, so thank you for bearing with me, but I was actually thinking, you know, it's so funny because I had plans this afternoon to talk about perks and achievements, and then I was like, well, this is one huge perk that I didn't even have on my list, is that this is my full-time job, so I make my own schedule. And guess what? I went out to lunch, and it was awesome, but I still got my workout done before. I still woke up early this morning and answered messages. Now I'm back here recording this for you guys, and I actually have some uh, videos to record after this for my coach onboarding, but either way, I really value time with family. Like, pretty much nothing is more important to me than my family and my pets. So that freedom to say, hey, you know what, this is a priority. I wanna make sure I'm there for this person. Um, and like, especially with our animals, like there's been emergencies, and it's just like such a gift to me to not have to ask somebody for permission to do whatever the fuck it is I want or need to do. And that actually reminded me of, um, this is all very off the cuff. I hope you guys are cool with that. But um, I remember when I worked at Mazda, which I talked about earlier today, the car dealership, and I, ha we had a dog, Bella, and she was only nine years old and she was a dachshund, so that's very young. Like normally they live to be about 14. And we took her in for what we thought was a toothache and the, it was on a Friday and the vet was like, I, I don't think this is a toothache. I think that this is cancer, and if it is what I think it is, it's aggressive. So take her home for the weekend, bring her back on Monday, we'll put her under and we'll look at it, and if it's not if it's not what I think it is, we'll work on it. If it is what I think it is, you should really put her down because it's gonna be aggressive and she's gonna go like that. And so I remember, I'd been with every dog we'd ever put down, and that was just, that's important to me. And so I remember like going to Mazda and saying like, hey, can I have Monday off, here's the situation, and they told me no. And I remember looking at them and being like, you don't have to give me the day off, it's up to you, but if you don't give me the day off, I will quit. Like, I will not, I do not value this job more than I value being here for my family. So that is one huge perk of coaching that I didn't even write down, but the freedom to make my own schedule. Do I work my ass off? Yes, I do. Do I get to do it on my own time and the way that I want? And do I get to prioritize the shit that I think is important? Yes, and to me, that, yes, I live a very routine life, but that freedom when I need it is everything to me. So I just wanted to share that because it's kind of relevant to my day. Um, but anyway, I used to make this video and just kind of like list off the perks of coaching. Like you can get this and you can get that. I don't think, I mean, that's kind of what you have to do when you're a new coach, right? Because you don't have a lot of experience in the business. But now I do have experience and I do have my own things that I've achieved. So I want to share these things with you, not to brag or boast or be like, I'm so awesome, but because you can literally do what I'm doing. And in fact, you can do what I'm doing better. Like this opportunity is for anyone as long as you have heart and passion and work ethic so i just want to share with you what i've done with the business in this time and uh and allow you to kind of dream from there but the first thing i wanted to tell you and actually elizabeth lizzie izzy lou i don't know what do i call you in real life that's so weird um she's one of my challengers and she's also on my instagram but she was like saying that she did a um i won't name what other kind of MLM she did, but she did another kind of MLM. <laughs> and she was saying that um, she like lost a bunch of money doing it. And I totally understand because a lot of other companies, they have like minimum like sales quotas each month, which we don't have. They make you carry inventory. So something like, um, and I don't mean to talk shit, I love this company so much, but like LuLaRoe, and I buy the shit out of their leggings for the record, but LuLaRoe, like they make you buy, like your original investment is $5,000 in your business, and then you have to carry a bunch of inventory to sell off. So you're, you're putting a lot of money up front. The coaching business is not that way. For the coaching business, you invest in your challenge pack, and then from there, you don't technically, other than, I like, you have a $15 monthly business fee. That's the only fee you ever have to pay other than your initial challenge pack investment, and the challenge pack investment isn't, actually even required but I would not let you on my team without it because how am I going to mentor you to coach people if you've never done a challenge and you don't even understand the tools that you're gonna be offering to people right that just I would be setting you up for failure just to put like 
a check mark, a number next to my name or something. I'm not, I'm not down for that. So I wanted to address my first month as a coach. So I decided to do, I did a, a round of 21 day fix. I bought my challenge pack. I did a round of 21 day fix. I fell in love with it. Not just the, not the programming necessarily, but the, especially the nutrition to me was very freeing. Um, I fell in love with the community and I just loved this concept of working from home and having time freedom. So I signed up as a coach and my first month as a coach, I made $250. Um, and in addition to that, I went Emerald, which is like the first rank in our business. And it's when we always say that's when you open the doors to your business. It's when you're eligible for team cycle bonuses. And so it's a really big deal. So my first month I went Emerald, which means I signed up two coaches and I made 250 bucks, which way more. That means I literally made a significant amount of income in my first month. So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, of course, and I have to say this, there's a disclaimer, but Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success or income, and all of your success is gonna be based on your diligence, your skill, and your effort. And that was true for me, like I went all in. I didn't, I, I didn't like sign up and then sit there and think like, oh, I should do more training. Like I signed up and I fucking started talking about it on social media and inviting people to join me. So I didn't waste any time. That's why I did have that level of success um, because I was pretty like, I'll loosely say fearless and sharing it. Of course, inside I was scared, but I acted fearless and it paid off big time. Um, so yeah, that was like one of my major successes and kind of along those same lines because I do know that everyone is afraid of like, what if I lose money? And again, <laughs> there's no guarantees, but I'm just telling you my personal experience is I've been a coach for, um, well, it's been almost three years. So this month is my 34th month, I believe, as a coach. And I'm what they call a Success Club All-Star legend. So in these 30, a Success Club is basically like kind of a minimum goal that we aim for in our business. It's not necessary, it's totally optional, but it's like a marker of if you're hitting this, you're like progressing and you're signing up new people and you're moving your business forward, right? So in the 34 months that I have been a coach, I have only missed Success Club twice, and both of those times were in my first year as a coach. So now I'm a Success Club All-Star Legend, which means 24 consecutive months, I have hit at least that minimum goal. And so I basically, that means I'm, well, <laughs> obviously I have residual income now, it's not just commissions because I'm not a new coach, um, but it means that bare minimum, I am covering my Shakeology every month. That'd be a very simple way of saying it. So this isn't, I don't know, it's hard for me, like it's hard for me to understand when people get in and they don't take off because I just got in and I started doing the job and it just, if you do the things you're supposed to do, it pretty much works. <laughs> I think it only doesn't work when people don't do what they're told to do, right? We have four vital behaviors. If you're not doing them, yeah, you're probably not going to be successful, but I'm here to mentor you and tell you this is exactly what you need to do. As long as you follow this formula, you're pretty much going to succeed. So I just wanna share that with you guys up front because again, I know that like being out a bunch of money is a major concern. So your investment is pretty small and I, had, I did not have that experience. I did not lose any money on my business. Um, Currently, I'm making enough to actually cover our Southern California mortgage. And this is so crazy to me um, because I joined this business to make, I think I mentioned this earlier, to make 500 bucks a month. Like that was the number in my head. And I was like, come hell or high water, like I just need to make 500 bucks a month to contribute to like medical bills and I'm good. And now I'm literally, I thought like in my wildest dreams, I'd like cover a mortgage and I'm doing it and I'm continuing to grow it. So it's pretty freaking crazy to hit like a goal, hey baby wheeze, that you thought was completely unattainable, but pretty awesome and definitely a testament for what can be done in this business. And again, I wasn't, I wasn't aiming high. I was aiming pretty low, but I did make sure to hit Success Club every month and just make that minimum goal priority. And by doing that, the business grew organically and I didn't have to really, I don't really, even now in my business, I don't stress about money. I'm just kind of like, when I do my job and I love on people and I work hard and I bring energy and enthusiasm to what I do, the money happens and I'm not having to even like freak out about it. It just happens because I'm doing my job, right? Um, so another, this is a big perk of, this is just like, I'm just going to call it straight perk of being a coach is that every year they, uh, the company, Team Beachbody, they host a success club trip. And so... 
there's some technicalities, obviously, but um, I, I remember my coach telling me that this was a thing, right? We have these success club trips. You can earn free travel. And I, like, rolled my eyes, and I was like, that's probably for the top, like, two people in the company. That's never going to happen to me, but cool, whatever. Thanks for the memo. And I, I kind of thought she... Like, not that she was a liar, but that she was making it sound like better than it was or something like that. Um, but I signed up in March of 2015, and I got on the wait list to, in, to um, earn, basically you earn, every time you're hitting, getting a success club point, you are earning trip dollars. And so I actually earned in my first year as a coach enough trip dollars to go on the 2016 success club trip, which was a cruise to Nassau and Jamaica. Uh, but because we usually enroll in January and I didn't sign up as a coach until March, I was waitlisted, and even though I technically earned it, I did not actually like get off the waitlist. But I was super privileged in that my coach, Melissa, saw that I worked my ass off, saw that I earned it, luckily for me, did not have a boyfriend at the time, and so she took me as her plus one. So March 2015, I signed up as a coach. March 2016, I'm literally going on a free vacation. I was like, holy shit. And Beachbody's great about they always do something all-inclusive. So that means like your food and your drinks and everything is included, which is ridiculous and amazing. So yeah, like within one year, I was on this free vacation that I didn't believe in. And then because I had then established myself more in the company, um, I was able to sign. Now every time since then, I've been able to sign up. I don't get waitlisted anymore because I've worked my booty off. Um, so this year, well, actually, let's... Sorry, I'll wait for a minute because that's really loud. Can you guys hear that? Um, so last year, 2017, was I actually had like a bucket list moment because of this business, which was that I earned a trip, an all-inclusive trip, to Hard Rock Resort in Punta Cana, which is like, if you don't know, it's in the Caribbean. And I got my plus one that time because I had finally earned it, like fully earned it and got off the wait list. And so I got to treat my husband, Anthony, to a tropical vacation. And that, holy shit, like talk about a full circle moment. Like I joined this business because we were broke as shit and I was absolutely desperate to earn some kind of money to, and, he, and I felt really guilty, like putting that burden on him that he had to pay all my medical bills to like, hey babe, I'm gonna treat you to a vacation. Come here, come here arm candy. <laughs> and it was like the best feeling ever because he sacrifices a lot too for me to build this business and to be able to treat him to that and for him to see like how real what I do is. This is not just like me playing on social media all day, right? This is me doing a real job and getting real perks and real money and real vacations out of it. And so it was so incredible to be able to treat my man who sacrificed so much for my health and my business and everything um, to this vacation. So that was last year, Punta Cana. This year in April, so it's March right now, So or it's March right now, holy fuck, uh, it's January right now. So this year in April, we are going to, um, I'm treating him again to a stay at the Unico Resort, which is literally a brand new resort. It just opened last year for the first time ever. So I'm treating him to stay at Unico Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico. So that's our destination this year. And then I'm already on the list for next year and I've already earned a bunch of money towards the trip next year. Um, and so we're gonna be going next year on another cruise through, it's always Royal Caribbean, and this year we have Harmony of the Sea, which I guess is like the newest, biggest boat. So again, Beachbody, like they go all out, truly. Um, so we're gonna be on the Harmony of the Seas, and we're gonna be going to Nassau and Lava D, which is like a private, um, hi buddy, it's a private island that Royal Caribbean owns. So three vacations now that I'm treating my husband to, through basically on the company's dime. I'm earning them because again, every success point I get success club point I get is a trip dollar. Um, so I'm earning them throughout the year, but honestly I normally have it earned like by the midway point of the year because that's just, you know, that's the level that my business is at. So again, it's not something like I'm working my ass off and like stressing out like, oh, I need to earn the trip. Like I just do, I do my job, I love on people, I earn the trip, that's it. <laughs> so it's pretty freaking awesome and I would recommend that you get in on this. I always tell Anthony, I'm like, even if I was like, I don't really want to coach anymore, I would just do the bare minimum to make sure I keep earning us free vacations because why don't you want a free yearly vacation? Um, and then like, it's also worth mentioning, and this is not free, but we do have an annual event called Coach Summit and it's a live event and it's usually a long weekend. It usually starts on a 
Friday and goes through Sunday or whatever. But um, it's like a, a whole team wide thing and we get a lot of trainings and like personal development and it's really cool and a lot of fun and we get to connect with our teams in person. So that's rad. Um, but that's always in a different location too. So that one's not paid for by the company and it's optional. You don't have to go, but it's a great excuse to travel. Like if that's something you care about is traveling, um, it's, it's really, you know, we all know we get busy. It's hard money, blah, blah, blah. It's hard to make an excuse to go make something happen. So every year, like the first year, Anthony and I went to Nashville last year was new Orleans, which holy balls. You guys, if you haven't been in new Orleans, you need to go. Cause it was the best. I think it's like one of our favorite places we've ever been. It was incredible. And then, um, this year will be Indianapolis and then next year, who knows, but hopefully you'll be there with us. Um, but yeah, so that's like, that's, an excuse for us as well. We always usually go like a couple days before summit and like explore the town before like the beach body crazy starts and just like use it as a little date, date weekend, whatever. Uh, so it's pretty freaking cool. And again, it's just an excuse to like go see, go see things we would never see. I've seen so much shit I would have never seen if I wasn't a beach body coach. Like, I don't know. I never would have thought when I signed up that that was a real thing that would happen, but it has happened. So there's that. <laughs> um, so, with that said, my team, as you guys probably know, is called Team Diesel and Daisies, named after my puppy dogs. Um, and so, it's so funny, when I was coming up with a team name, I was like, I should probably make it something fitnessy. And I was like, no, dogs before fitness, I'm sorry. <laughs> no shame in my game. Um, but Team Diesel and Daisies actually finished, this I'm very proud of, we finished last year at number 1,284 in the company out of 400,000. So we are climbing the ladder slowly but surely. I think the year before we were like 1,800. So this year we were in the, the 1,200s. And then honestly, this year my goal is for us to hit it, the top 200. That's my goal for us. And I really think we're capable. I really think we have some go-getters that can make this happen with me. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool to be like climbing the ranks. And all the people on my team are like, you know, they're the people on my side. They're the people who when we get to that top 200, I'm going to look next to me and be like, you guys made this happen. Like, thank you, because it's going to be so awesome to see Team Diesel and Daisies in lights. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's something I'm really proud of. Out, out of a company of 400,000, like, that's pretty crazy to be 1284. Um, another huge thing that's come out of this journey that I never really expected, well, I hoped for, but not expected, was I'm actually pretty much in uh, um, autoimmune remission. I do if I eat really bad, like over the holidays, if I eat bad for like a whole month, then I might get like a little bit of like symptomatic, but I'm to in total control of it. It goes right away. Um, but yeah, I went from ha being diagnosed with this rare chronic progressive disease to literally just living a life like a normal person and not having to think about having any kind of health condition. So that has been probably I really do credit that to the lifestyle changes and the mindset shifts that come with this business um, absolutely I've been treated by doctors but nothing everything that I've done is considered pseudoscience I haven't done anything that is you know scientifically peer-reviewed or covered by insurance it's all been things that are out of the box and lifestyle changes and mindset things and and a lot of that is due in part to this career path and you know, it's my responsibility to lead from the front for you guys. And so that's really kept me on the right path and moving forward with my health. And so here I am where autoimmunity is like not even a part of my life really. It's not even something I hardly have to think about, which is crazy. Um, hi babe. Oh dear. <laughs> Another thing um, that has completely transformed because of this business is our marriage. And so, Again, we get we got married and there was there was a lot of stress around our engagement. We got married and then I went right into this battle with autoimmune disease and that was the worst for both of us. And then from there, I pretty much went into this business. <laughs> and um and so it was just like crazy. We didn't even have time to slow down or think or anything. But, you know, we went all in and so many things have shifted because of it within our our relationship. So the first thing is that health became front and center for both of us. Um, when I got diagnosed with autoimmune disease, I told Anthony, like, I'm gonna have to make a lot of changes. Here's what I'm doing. I don't expect you to do it with me. I just need you to be supportive. And he was very supportive and also pretty much wanted nothing to do with a lot of it. And so once this became my business and he started seeing that like me being healthy is the business, like the number one, like front and center of my business is me taking care of myself. 
And then he was like, hey, if I take care of myself and I'm getting results and I'm feeling good, that's just another level of, you know, proving that this works and showing your tribe that this works and, and getting them on board. So he started making his health a huge priority too because he saw how much it was transforming my life, how I was feeling, and how that pertained to my business for us to do this together. So it really got us on the same page as far as like the kind of lifestyle we wanted to live. Um, another thing it helped us do is learn to dream together. And when you are stressed about money, and health like literally survival um, it's really hard to have dreams like the dream is like can I just be fucking normal and so we got in this business with that mentality of like just trying to be normal again and what happened was we started seeing all these people around us who were like super high achievers setting these crazy goals hitting these crazy goals you know, living these beautiful lifestyles, making amazing money, you know, women retiring their husbands so that they can be home as a family all the time. And we started going like, holy shit, like that's an option. Like we literally didn't even know dreaming that big was like a thing we could do. And so it really helped us start like thinking larger scale about like what we can accomplish as a couple and what we actually want out of life. And I think like dreaming together has become one of the cornerstones of our relationship and one of like the funnest parts of our relationship. Um, and then on that same note and lastly, um, personal growth. So one of your vital behaviors when you become a coach is working on your personal growth, not just your health and fitness, but your mind, making sure that you keep in a good mindset and that you're, you know, positive person and always goal oriented and moving forward and all that good stuff. So I started listening to personal development every single day and I did it every single day for eight months straight. And then Anthony came to me and he's like, you seem like you're getting like really happy. And I know that like successful people say that they do personal development even though I think it seems kind of hokey and weird but he was like where should I start like where would be a good starting point if I wanted to work on some PD and so I gave him some podcast recommendations and now like I don't even think <laughs> I don't even think he listens to music because he just has podcasts on all the time and he's always telling me you need to listen to this one you need to listen to that one um, but it's just become such a thing for us to work on our personal development and then every night when we come together instead of talking about like what depressing shit is on the news or gossip about pop culture like we're talking about like what did you learn today was it something about health was it like a mindset shift whatever and we have like good questions to ask each other because we hear questions on these podcasts so it's just taking our connection to a whole other level because we're working on ourselves all the time and one of the things i heard i forget where i even heard this but um they said that like one of the reasons that people's marriages get stale is because people one of the fundamental human needs is variety and so obviously if you're like with the same person forever like we all aspire to be i think you know, it can get monotonous. You don't have that variety. And so I heard someone say, the, the, the anecdote to that is you become the variety. Like you be the variety for your spouse. And I'm like, that's so true. Like when you just do the same shit every day, all day, you have nothing to talk about. Like life gets boring. But if you're both constantly moving forward with your health, with your fitness, with your mindset, with whatever it is, you know, like your hobbies, whatever, then you're the variety and you stay interesting to that person. And I think that's been like really true in our marriage. And it's a reason that we still, you know, are so connected um, after 10 years together is because we do work on ourselves and we are always evolving and that makes us interesting and things don't get stale. So it's been a big game changer in our marriage for sure. Um, Another really cool thing, and this is, I just see this as a straight like achievement, but I decided last year my business got to this level and I talked to Anthony and I was like, I'm really overwhelmed. Like my workload is really, really huge right now. And we talked about it and we decided to hire a virtual assistant to work for me for an hour a day. And it was so funny. I posted on Instagram that I was going to do this. And this girl who I had been, oh my God, I'd just been begging her to be a coach. I was like, you'd be such a perfect coach. Please be on my team. Please, please, please. And so, and she was in into it and she's uh, her and her girlfriend are power lifters. Um, but anyway, so I like posted how I was like, oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. Like my business is at a level where we're going to afford for me to have a personal assistant. And she reached out and she's like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I want the job. And it was funny because I, I already knew enough about her that she was like, do you want to interview me? What do you need to know? And I was like, nothing. Like, I just already know who you are and I already like you. So we're good. Like, you're hired. And so I pretty much hired her on Instagram without asking her anything about anything. Um, but she started off working an hour a day for me. 
now I'm at a level where she's working three hours a day for me. And it's just a really cool feeling to employ somebody, like to like knowing I'm part of the solution. You know, like we have a lot of unemployment in the country and to be able to grow this business, to be able to grow something from nothing and then use that income and be able to pay it forward and give someone else a, a job. I mean, that feels pretty freaking cool. And it just so happens that she's turned out to pretty much be one of my best friends ever. Like, I'm obsessed with her. She's the coolest human alive. And I got so lucky to score her as my assistant. But yeah, it's just been like a real blessing to me to get to pay her to do work that she enjoys, that she's proud of. She helps me out a ton. And it's just a really, it almost feels like a partnership more than like I'm her boss or anything like that. Um, I go to her all the time and I'm like, how can we tweak this? How can we make this better? You know? And she's freaking awesome. But on that same note, Tribe is a huge part of what this coaching opportunity has brought to me. Um, I started getting a glimpse into that with our challenge groups, right? And seeing the tribe that's in the challenge group. But when you're a coach, it's a whole other level because we are a team and we are working together to help each other succeed. And I know a lot of people get really weird about MLM and they feel like, oh, you're just trying to make money off of me. And you know, to each his own. But what my experience has been is because as a team, our income all depends on one another, we function as a team. Like there's no competition. It's like, I understand that your success is my success. Therefore, if you're struggling, you don't know how to invite somebody. You don't know how, what program to recommend. Come to me. I will help you. I will like give you ideas. I will ask you the right questions because I know that our success is really just one and the same. So I actually think it's been really cool to be part of a company and a team where everyone actually gives a fuck about each other and each other's success and feels invested in one another versus it being like cutthroat or competitive or whatever. And some of my... I've never been good at having friends. I'm an introvert. Um, I have a bad memory, so I really suck at being like thoughtful, like with people's birthdays and stuff. I'm like the worst. And so, thank God that Facebook says when people's birthdays are. Sorry, I have dog hair. Oof. Um, so yeah, like I'm not like the greatest friend. I don't love saying that out loud, but I'm just being honest with you guys. And I just kind of like gave up. Like once I had autoimmunity, I didn't have the energy to pursue friendships and I was like, who cares, I'm over it. And I also had really high standards for friends. Like I care immensely about loyalty and unfortunately it's hard to find very loyal people. So that was just really hard for me. It was a sticking point for me. And because of this business and organically without trying, I found some of my best friends. So my upline Melissa has become one of my best friends and she doesn't super actively work her business anymore but she's still one of my best friends. Um, my assistant, Bree, is probably like, it goes like my parents and Anthony and then our dogs and then it's Bree. Like I just talk to her all the time, I adore her. So I'm super close with her. I met this amazing coach randomly at Summit in Nashville named Kelsey and now we always keep in touch. We always meet up at Summit. She's actually my new success partner this year. Um, so Kelsey is one of my really close people and I also met, this is like a kind of roundabout way, but from a teammate, I met someone named Stephanie Athena Marie, who is, she does healing intuitive readings, and I just fell in love with her. Her energy is so the opposite of mine, and she's so like feminine and earthy and um, relaxed, and I just like, I eat her up. So I'm always like, whenever I need, when I know I need a perspective that's completely different from mine, She's become my go-to girl and I adore her and I adore her perspective and her open-mindedness. And then my mentor, Amy, um, and not that she and I are like, we're not besties or anything like that, but whenever I see her, like I see her on the Success Club trips and at Summit and we'll hang out, but I just value her mentorship a lot. She also has a very happy marriage. She's ridiculously financially successful, like money I cannot comprehend when I see it. And um, <laughs> so I'll just leave that there. She's a firm mom. So there's a lot of things about her I respect and she has a kind of life I would want to live. So it's really a privilege to be able to learn from someone who is that successful and who's living that kind of life. That's what I aspire to. So tribe has been huge. And it's also, I literally think that being a coach is the reason I'm still devoted to my health and fitness three years later. I think if I would have been a challenger, I would have done the challenge group and then I would have just been like, I'll do it on my own. And I would have just been on my own because I'm kind of a lone wolf but choosing to be a coach not really entirely understanding what I was getting into has been a huge blessing and has has brought me some of my best friends and also just taught me to value other people and not be such a lone wolf which for me I think has been a really big gift um, so I think from all of this like one of the main messages is like 
this job pushes me out of my comfort zone but in all the right ways and it grows me in all the ways I probably wouldn't grow myself because it's uncomfortable but I'm a million times better of a person because of it um, okay so the last thing I wanted to say so this is kind of, those were kind of the main points I wanted to touch on perks of being a coach and my achievements as a coach but the last thing I wanted to say is when you sign up you are gonna set your goals so you can hear what I'm saying and you can be like I don't want anything close to that I just want a hundred bucks a week or you could be like I I pff, she's like chump change I want something way bigger than what she's doing that's it's all okay like whatever you want out of this is okay you don't have to be at my level you can be above it you can be below it it's all good because this is your business so it's all about you choosing what you want out of this and then from there as your mentor I'm gonna help you adjust the level of work I'm gonna be realistic and be like okay if you want more than I'm getting out of this you're gonna have to work harder than I do and this is what it's gonna look like and, and I do know, I absolutely know in my business where I could work harder. And for me, I've chosen, like, it's not worth it. I'm comfortable where I'm at. And I'm not willing to sacrifice more time or more this or more that. And so this is, how, this is the pace I'm choosing to grow at. And so you can let me know which pace you want to grow at. And then we can adjust accordingly if you need to do way less work, way more work, whatever. Uh, but it really is all about you. And we're going to take it at your pace based on what you want out of it. So uh, I hope this gave you some insight into what coaching has to offer this is probably the topic I'm most passionate about. It, it's hard to even honestly put into words properly like how this business has changed my life. And even Anthony said the other day, he's like, even if you quit coaching tomorrow, you decided it's not for you, whatever. And we don't have the, the opportunity to build the income of it or whatever. He said, this would still be one of the best decisions we've ever made for you to do this because of the way it's grown us as people and because of the experiences and travel we've gotten to have because of this career. He's like, this is the best choice we've probably ever made. Besides, I think Daisy's the best choice, but this is probably the second best choice we've ever made. Um, and that felt really amazing. And I really, truly agree with him. Like this, this has seriously changed my life. It's held me accountable. It's molded me into a better person. It's molded him him into a better person therefore our relationship is better it's just been a game changer and I think that honestly the money for me has been like it's awesome and I'm so grateful but it's probably the part I'm, I'm even least passionate about I'm so passionate about the other ways in which it, which this business has changed our lives so um, yeah I hope this was insightful I will be back bright and early tomorrow, probably around 7 a.m. my time, Pacific Standard Time. And then my second video tomorrow should be more around like 1 or 2 o'clock. Um, so I look forward to chatting more. I'm trying to think. I'm like, what's tomorrow? Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to actually dig into like what it is that we do as coaches, like what the actual job looks like. And I'm also going to dig into what is a challenge pack. So this is like so something that I just got asked recently. Um, it was like, what exactly is it like what are you representing so I'm gonna show you exactly what it is that we offer as coaches so you can get a feel for that and you know I know I I had to decide is this like as someone who battled health and truly cares about health more than aesthetics I had to understand is this something I can get behind and so I know you guys probably feel the same way so I'm excited to share that with you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys have a great evening talk to you soon